Okay, so I've been playing around with my Orange Pi 5 and the Dolphin emulator and specifically Wii uh, because I haven't had good performance on an SBC with Wii games before but now I've got my Mayflash Dolphin bar on the top here and uh, the Wii support is really good. Uh, gun games are great on the Wii and so I'll show a little bit of that in a second. So my bar is blue tacked onto the top of my monitor and the setting I'm on is number 4 and that's plugged into the USB socket on my Orange Pi 5. Now the operating system I'm using is Orange Pi OS, the Android version, and this is 0.0.2. I did try 0.0.4 and uh, the menus on Dolphin, so if I call this up, uh, you have to allow access to the Mayflash Wiimote adapter. And you probably could hear my Wiimote vibrate just to show that it's all working. Uh, but in the menus, if I went into settings and say graphics settings, on 0.0.4, it wouldn't work. Uh, so this would just come up as a blank page. And I tried a few different things, couldn't get it to work. Tried it on Android 12. Um, and Android 12 did work on the Orange Pi 5. And I managed to drop the resolution to 720, trying to get better uh, performance, which did help a little bit. But uh, after I shut it down and restarted, it wouldn't restart at 720. So I went back to 0.0.2 on Orange Pi OS with Android, and this seems to be working the best out of all of them. I would hope to get this running within Linux because the desktop version of this software has a few more options in it, and I'm hoping that I can maybe tweak it a bit more, get even better performance. But let's jump in with a gun game. So Go Squad. And just turn on my speaker. I'm using the three and a half mil output into my speaker and I'll just turn it up on the keyboard you can see on here. Uh, and my Wiimote needs to come out of all this and pop it into this gun. I've got a separate video on this gun and also we like gun games. Uh, I did it a while ago now, but it's still, there's some really great games on here. So you can see I press the plus button and it comes up. Now, I don't know how to show this best. It's always going to look a bit weird, um, but basically as I move up, you can see I can select arcade, create new data, pop some letters in. And the gun feels accurate, uh, although it won't look, it never looks it in the video, but the gun does feel accurate. So game start. And I just realized that the settings were wrong. Uh, so if I go into settings, uh, I don't want to be open on OpenGL. I want to be on Vulkan because Vulkan, in my test, performs better on every game I've tried uh, on the Wii. So Vulkan. And uh, another setting I had to change, probably under advanced. Oh no, it won't be under graphics. Let's go back. And I think it's under config. And Wii. And if we scroll down, we remote continuous scanning. If you don't have that on, it definitely forgets it. Uh, so, and I think it's probably forgotten the Wiimote because I've been so long in working out. I, I managed to shoot about a quarter of the video uh, on OpenGL and I was trying to wonder why the performance wasn't as good and that's why it was. Uh, so let's quit out of this because that will save those settings and then launch it again. And let's just double check under graphic settings yeah, Vulcan. Uh, so now if I go to Ghost Squad, and I'm going to turn off the music soundtrack, because that definitely does seem to affect some games uh, from a performance point of view. Can I just drag it? I can drag it. Like. Choose your mission. And we'll go with, I can't remember which this one is. So you can see the FPS at the top there, around about 30 at the moment. So when it's dipping below that, that's when we're getting slow down. Obviously that's just an intro, Welcome. and that. Mission start. Now I can't look at that because I'm uh, concentrating on the bad guys. Bit of slow down then. Oh. So it feels fine because the, the pointer doesn't really slow down. So maybe the bad guys are a bit. Oh, that wasn't good. But yeah, still enjoyable to play. It isn't as fast as it should be. But this is one of the more ambitious gun games. And I think some of the more basic gun games in my other video would run absolutely fine on this. I have got a separate video as well with um, 
gun games with this same flash bar but on the Raspberry Pi 4 but some arcade games some PlayStation 1 games uh, various different things that's worth having a look at if you like gun games yeah that's working fine now it really slowed down on some of the transitions before so here we got and we've got to aim off the screen it's a cool mode. There you go. So you can see that's working fine. Let's quit out of that by just pressing the back button and exit emulation. And we need to remove the Wiimote. So we pull that and it slots out of the gun. I've got another gun up in the loft and I've also got a steering wheel for Mario Kart, but uh, I don't know where it is in the loft. So let's try a bit of Mario Kart. And this is a strange one because some of the menus run really slow, but the actual gameplay is fine. Here we go. Oh, I was trying to press buttons rather than tilt. Yeah, this I was playing it on OpenGL earlier on and it was terrible. Uh, and this is, uh, I'm looking at the top and it looks like it's on 60. So let's try a different setup and see how we get on. Yeah, it feels nice and fast. Happy with that, let's pick up that, what is it? Oh, nice. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be struggling. So that actually feels pretty decent. And you can see from the top that it's holding most of the speed. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, it's still enjoyable. Still, well, that just missed me. Obviously wasn't aimed for me. What have we got now? Anything decent? Yeah. Yeah, pretty decent. Definitely Vulcan makes a big difference on that. Now, Dave Mirror BMX Challenge isn't the best Wii game. Um, but uh, I hadn't tried it and I guess I probably hadn't tried it because the reviews were so terrible back in the day and uh, I was so used to playing the excellent Dave Mirror games on uh, Xbox, PlayStation and so on. Even the Game Boy Advance game is much better than this. But it is one of the games and also the menus that seems to run the best on this. So I'm reckoning that quite a lot of Wii games will play absolutely fine. So this is another game that requires tilt controls. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Straight ahead? Oh, yeah. And flick up to jump. Nice 360 there, lad. I don't know what the uh, overall controls are, but you can see this is working all right. It's running at, at uh, what, 30 FPS. I was trying to do a different trick then. But I just ended up doing another 360. But, yeah, so it's working. Uh, the speed seems to be exactly as it should be. And I've got no audio starters or anything like that. So actually, as a game, this runs well. I'm not sure if flinging the controller about... Oh, yeah, flinging the controller about does various different tricks and things. So it's probably one of those Wii games that, yeah, you have to flick the controller to do various different things. Right, so let's quit out that. But nice to see a game running perfectly well. Uh, Mario Brothers. Yeah, and it's not... If we look up, like, I'm guessing it should be 60 and it's definitely not 60. Actually, as you get a bit further into the level, it doesn't seem to slow down in the same way. And that feels perfectly playable now. But obviously, as things get a bit more ambitious as the game goes on, I'm sure that's where it's going to struggle uh, when you've got a lot of, of uh, bad guys on the screen or whatever. So this is Wii Sports Resort, and I've got the motion adapter on the bottom here. It does support the motion adapter as well. So we go into a game that I played so much. The table tennis is so good on this. Again, weird, weird slowdowns on the menu. I've got to put the controller down to set the motion plus calibration. There we go. And this is going to be really hard standing behind the camera, but I'll give it a go. Oh, <laughs> that's really hard to get because the tripod's in the way. There we go, but you can see that it's... Ugh, I can't get to the right side. That's better. Nice. So many great things on Wii Sports Resort, especially the sword play uh, when you're going against hordes of, of enemies. It is really, really good. Yeah, this is still one of the best consoles of all time. I use a Wii U now because it's got HDMI out and it, and it still plays all the Wii games and is compatible with all the accessories and everything. And I'm standing a bit close to a wall to do this, but we'll give it a go. 
Oh, he's going slow. Oh, we're there. It's such a good game. So a bit of archery. I've got to plug in the nunchuck and press OK. Z to draw. Here we go. Yeah, this is such a good level of control. I wasn't looking to see where the wind was. So where's the wind? Two miles an hour, right. Let's try and judge. I wasn't looking at the wind before. And go slightly above. Yeah, I'll take that. So I can't do Wii Fit Plus because it doesn't seem to be supported by the Android version. I'm not sure if I'm wrong or right on that. I couldn't find any documentation on it. But it does seem to work with the Wii Fit Plus board on the the Windows version, so maybe the Linux version will work. I really, really hope to be able to get that working. Uh, I've got several GameCube games on there. I'll do that in a separate video. I thought this Zelda game was a Wii game, so I'll just play a little bit of that uh, just to give you a taster of what GameCube is like. It's an older system, so it tends to run brilliantly on the Orange Pi 5. Oh yeah, it's nice and fast. Definitely not struggling on that. That looks like that's going to be absolutely fine. Obviously, again, it depends if loads of things start happening. I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.